Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2 with Going East, with me, Brad M73. Uh, this has been kind of an overdue episode. Um, I've been playing uh, quite a bit of multiplayer, and I would also like to thank all of my YouTube viewers and supporters for my brand new Logitech G27 racing wheel. Um, I really wasn't sure what to expect, but this thing, it's got a full eight shifter, which I'm going to wimp out and not use off the start. Uh, I've got, I've got myself set up for like auto, like one of the automatics. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, it's got buttons. It's got like 16 buttons. It's got paddle shifters. Um, it's got these huge foot pedals, which are really nice and rugged and metal. And it even the steering wheel even has force feedback, so it's really, really cool. Um, so thank you so much for everybody who supports my videos. Um, you guys are awesome. And without you know without your support, I wouldn't be able to uh, to do this. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna take this little quick job, I think, from. Bergen down to Gilo, Gilo, I think that's what it's called. Bergen to Gilo, yeah. So set as GPS destination. I don't know if we have we picked up this trailer already. I'm not sure. You know what? In order to use my, <laughs> in order to actually use my steering wheel, I think I have to actually plug it in. Um, oh, here, now it's going, okay, there we go, and I think I probably have to restart the, do I have to restart the game? Boy, was I unprepared, uh, controls, keyboard, and, oh no, it doesn't see the G27 racing wheel, alright, that's no good, whoops, Oh my gosh, I'm totally a, I totally came unprepared for this. Let's try this again, guys. Yes, go. Let's play. Okay, hopefully you guys are still with me. Yes, there we are. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> now let's go to options, controls. Logitech G27, yay! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Real Automatic. Um, adaptive Automatic Transmission. I'm going to turn that on. Um, my force feedback is pretty much all straight down the middle. Oh, the dead zone. Yeah, I want to turn that all the way down. What the heck? It looks like it... Oh, you know what? I don't think I've set this up at all on this profile. Oh, no. Let's see here. Controller selection. All right. So that those look. Let's see. Input wizard. Maybe. Oh yeah. Real automatic. Just select the driving. Okay. Finish wizard. Oh man. Please don't tell me I'm gonna have to reset all of my keyword commands because that's gonna suck. <laughs> oh yeah, I am. Dang. Okay, so there's that. I don't need really need the warning lights. Where's my cruise control? Sauce brakes, retarder, light modes. I guess that's is it the headlights? Okay, there's that. High beam headlights. Do button twenty-one. I won't worry about the beacon yet. The horn, I think is, let's see, where did I do with the horn? I think the horn is there, and the air horn is there, which I don't have an air horn yet. Uh, wipers. Uh. Okay, that's lights, that one I want for cruise, okay. 
Okay, let's try that. Cruise control, I want here. Dashboard display mode. Oh, yeah. Um, that, I think, is there. Um, I'm sorry to go through all this, with, but now you can find out how I set up my controls. Let's see. Truck lights adjustment. Oh, F5. This one I want here. Um, interior camera. Lean out camera. I want there. No, no. Five. I want here. There we go. Where's my look left and right? Interior. I think it's this. Interior look forward. Oh, actually, I think that is here. Um, I feel like I'm missing some things here. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And hopefully, hopefully this works. <laughs> I should have set this up ahead of time. Um, okay, so if we go there, um, no, that's not what I want. That is right, though. Uh, let's see, go back to options, controls. Oh, keyboard. It's like look left and look right. Oh, here it was. There we go. There. And there. Okay. Okay, now, there we go. Now we can kind of look around. And for some reason, our truck, there we can look backwards, we can look forwards. Cool. All right, so let's start our truck up. And if I move... Okay, okay, now the shifter is working the way I want it to work. Okay, great. So we shift into drive and away we go. Oh my gosh, we're driving. Um, driving with the, the racing wheel it really is like a completely new experience. It really does change the game. Um, you know, you guys have been that have been watching for a long time. You guys know that I'm very good for the most part at driving with a, uh, you know, with the the keyboard. But this really changes like the whole. It really does change the whole game. Um, the G27 is one of the most recommended uh, racing wheels for Euro Truck. Um, I'm getting a little bit used to it. It is definitely one of the most uh, recommended wheels for Euro Truck. And I'm tr let me try to get my. It's kind of weird because I have to get to all this set up, and then my headset is all. Ugh. But it's like whenever I see somebody. Playing Euro Truck, it's always with a Logitech G27, like always. Um, so that's, you know, I got a really good deal off of it uh, from uh, BH Photo. Um, it's, uh, I think they're, you know, it's B and H Photo, but it's like bhphotovideo.com. So I'm going to give them a shout out because they definitely had an awesome price. They had them on sale. I don't know what the heck this guy is supposed to be doing, but whatever. I'm just going to go around him. <laughs> oh no, we have to go up this like big curvy road. Alright, so we have to go up there to that building with the red on the top. Oh, this is so cool. It's so bizarre too to like turn the wheel and actually see the wheel on the screen turn in the exact same, you know, the exact same 
degree that my, you know, that I'm turning my wheel. It's just really bizarre. It is bizarre. All right, so we are going to the Bauhaus. Hello, Bauhaus. Whoa. All right. So now we will go. Oh, fireworks! Yay! Oh, this is this has to be done quickly. Oh no. Oh no, guys. It's going to be the 4th of July, and we have to get the... Wait a second, they don't celebrate 4th of July in this... In this European country. Okay, so we're going to have to go in here. Now we'll look back. And backing up is, like, so much easier. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Okay, T... Whoops, got to be stopped and going into drive. There we go. So we'll just pull forward here, kind of look around. And using the steering wheel is like so much easier. It's not even funny. Oh man such a it's such a good experience the only thing i really need now is a larger screen and and that's something that uh that i've been you know thinking about for a while now um i don't really have all the money i need to make that a reality but i i want to build a computer um, so guys that you know if you watch your videos you know please make sure that you don't use ad block um, because even though you know you watching the video and and seeing the ads and things like that um, you know it's it's fractions of a penny on most cases but <clears throat> but every time you know you guys watch my videos it helps me out a little bit every time you guys like and comment and share it definitely helps me out and um, you know, so please, you know, I, lo I know a lot of YouTubers talk about, you know, losing revenues to people that use ad blockers. Um, I can I can definitely understand that for a lot of websites. For YouTube, the ads typically aren't intrusive, um, and and we definitely we definitely definitely appreciate the help. Um, but it's something that I'm planning. Uh, maybe by the end of the summer, um, you know, if I can get enough revenue. Uh, coming in because because right now you know I make about enough to support my games you know so I can buy new games and I get gifted a few games here and there from some publishers um, some I play some I you know test out ah watch out where's my horn <laughs> there's my horn um but yeah like right now I'm playing I'm playing this with my driving wheel on a 17 inch laptop screen it's like 17 and a half inches or something like that <clears throat> so it's like i'm sitting way back from the screen and you know the immersion effect isn't really that great um so you know i think i looked to my left you know a foot to my left and I have my nice 27 inch iMac screen and I'm like I wish I had a screen like that for my PC but I don't um, but that's something that you know you guys can definitely help out with um, but really that's the only downside I mean real you know I can kind of focus in on the screen and eventually um, you know eventually it kind of feels a lot more natural to play so that's pretty cool all right, so we're going to go down here and take a left. Uh, one of the things that also really impressed me about the G27 is that the uh, the gear shifter and the steering wheel, they actually put real leather on the steering wheels. Um, so my my uh, computer room here has like this nice, you know, new leather smell to it. Oh, this is so much better. You guys, you guys just have no idea. Uh oh, is this a roundabout up here? Um, one thing that I found out that's actually kind of a little bit detrimental is the fact that 
Whoa. Is the fact that um, it's it's a lot easier to go a lot faster with the G27. Um, you know, it's a lot easier to kind of lose track of your speed and to speed. So, you know, using cruise control is is definitely going to help a lot of you who use the, you know, racing wheel. I don't think it's anything specific to the G27, but, um, you know, definitely is to, I would think, to racing wheels in general. All right, so I'm not really sure what the speed limit is. So I'm going to set my speed control. So we're at 45 miles per hour, which is about 70 kilometers an hour. I just don't want to end up going too terribly fast. Another thing I will say is that it's a lot easier to flip loads. You know, it's a lot easier to tip your truck over with a racing wheel. And I think that has to do with how, you know, the curve, you know, as you go, as you make a turn, you're, you're making a curve, you know, if you drew it out on a piece of paper. And, but when you, when you are using a keyboard, you're either, you know, when you turn left or right, it's kind of like your wheel is, is constantly turning or it's constantly not turning. And so I think you can actually control rolling much, much better using, you know, the, the WASD keys or the arrow keys or whatever you guys use um, over the steering wheel. So, you know, if you have an uh, elongated curve like you do with the steering wheel, um, I think it's just a lot easier to, to you know, as the, as the curve progresses, um, you know, it's gonna, the load's going to shift more and more and more to the right. So kind of pay attention to the screen and how the screen will tilt um, as, I, as I go around corners, especially, you know, at speed. You know, if I'm up to, you know, a certain speed, like, like up here at this roundabout, it might kind of tilt a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Eh, just a little tiny bit. All right. Pedal to the metal. See how we doing on gas. We're doing okay on gas. The Volvos are very efficient on the gas. All right, so now we're going up this hill. I'm going to kind of make this turn. You can kind of, I don't know if you can really tell if it's tilting or not. I can tell. There now it's kind of tilting back the other way. So I can definitely tell. Like, you know, I can really see. What? What is this guy? This guy's got a death wish. He's passing on a big turn. What a noob. Wait, where am I going? Why am I heading to a ferry? There you can maybe see the cab tilting left. And maybe the cab tilting right. Maybe not. We are going to a tunnel when we go. Um, no, 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 Brad, no. Oh, this is, it's such a, it's such a much more enjoyable experience. Now, again, I'm not using the H shifter. I don't know if I really want to go through like the clutching, you know, through 16 gears. <clears throat> I just don't think I want to go that route. Um, whoa, whoa, th look at this guy. He's just a, he's like a death machine. Are you serious? Are you serious? I actually have to take. Why don't they just build a road around this bay instead of having to build a, like, drive a ferry? It better be cheap, that's all I can say. It better be. Okay, whoop. Look, see, see on the, see on the mini map down there where there's like the two ferry stations. It's like I'm just going across this river. I gotta, I gotta, you know, give you a hint. Build a bridge. Okay. So I guess, I guess we basically just go right across. Gosh, thirty-six euros to cross a little bridge. Wow. All right.
Well, we're still in drive. Let's get going. Wait, it says do not enter, and here I'm entering. Wow. I better kick it up a notch then. So I don't go head on with somebody on accident. Okay, good that way, good this way. Okay. Um, I know Pro Mods, uh, you know, this is this is part of the Pro Mods expansion here. Um, SES just recently, I think yesterday, um, June fifth, twenty fourteen, I believe they released. A, like some screenshots that, where they say they are include they're coming out with a Scandinavian um, expansion pack. Now I'm using Pro Mods right now. Um, <clears throat> I keep hearing rumors, and I don't know if these rumors are true, but I keep hearing rumors that that SCS may actually purchase Pro Mods to use as their official expansion pack because it's a, such a good mod. I don't know if that's true. I do not know, but I've heard it from several different sources that, you know, seem to be fairly knowledgeable, but, you know, like anything else, um, you know, it could be purely speculation. Hit this brakes. Um, and so, anyway, the speculation is that this mod may actually be become an official DLC. Now, I've... I've seen the screenshots of the Pro Mods DLC and what it's, you know, or not the Pro Mods, but the uh, Scandinavia DLC. They they released like I don't know six or seven screenshots uh, yesterday. Some of the screenshots have been around for a while, maybe the last month or so. Um, but SCS finally admitted to that they are quote driving around Scandinavia. I have yet to see any place. You know, in pro mods that looks anything like the areas on the maps, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully I will, you know, eventually, but I just haven't seen anything yet. Um, but I would think that would be really cool if they used this as, you know, the official expansion. I mean, even though you'd have to pay for it, um, again, you know, if it's 10 bucks, you know, I don't really, it doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, it's going to it's gonna more bother people that, you know, don't have the money to spend. Now, what is this crazy little squiggly squoo pattern on the map up here? That looks weird. I guess we'll find out. So, I don't know. You know, they, they've announced that they're working on it. No idea when it's actually going to be, you know, become a reality. So, we'll find out. Whoa, look at this. This is cool. Whoa. Should I turn my lights on? No, I don't want to turn my cruise control on. Let's turn our lights on. like concentrating here I'm all scared I'm scared okay so now we're coming out well, that's kind of cool so you kind of go around this loop and actually are descending I wonder if this is like a real tunnel somewhere that would be cool if it was Whoa. Yeah, I definitely needed a larger screen because I kind of find myself leaning forward over the steering wheel, squinting at my screen like, ee! <laughs> Oh, I know. I could I could go out I could go out into my living room and set out there 
attach the G27 to my coffee table and play on my 27 inch, or no, not 27 inch, on my 55 inch HDTV. Yeah, there we go. That would be an idea. Hmm. I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Okay, so everybody's going really slow because we're going around the mountain when we go doot doot. Um, don't want to look too far around because then I can't see where I'm going. Another thing I kind of wanted to buy is an Oculus Rift uh, development kit. The uh, Oculus Rift HD comes out, I think, next month in July, sometime. You know, they haven't set an exact date, but sometime in July of 2014. And I thought, man, this would be really cool to actually, um, <clears throat> you know, get a developer's kit um, and mess around with, you know, the Oculus with with Eurotruck because the support is definitely there. Um, a lot of the people that you know, already have the kit are saying what an awesome experience it is. The new HD kit is going to be absolutely phenomenal. The, d the only downside to it is that um, the, the, you know, my, I'm not sure my laptop is really going to do it justice. I mean, yes, this is a gaming laptop. Yes, it, it does run you know, the game very well, but I just don't know how it would do in, you know, with Oculus support. I just don't know. Um, because they say that, you know, you should have a machine that's capable of basically running any game that you want to play on the Oculus at 75 frames a second. Um, I, I think in Euro Truck, I'm getting about 35 to 40 frames a second, and that's with all the graphics pretty much maxed out. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that it is what it is, but, you know, I don't know. I don't think, uh, I don't think that, that this computer, even though it's a gaming laptop, would really be able to keep up with, um, you know, the, I, don't, I just don't think it would be able to keep up with the, the higher demands of the Oculus, but I don't know. If I end up building a new, you know, rig by the end of the summer... Um, I think I would definitely, uh, definitely, definitely consider, uh, you know, making, you know, ensuring that it would be able to run the Oculus. But I don't know. We'll find out. All right, so we're only 21 miles away from our destination. And I'm definitely enjoying... I'm definitely enjoying using the uh, the steering wheel. It is it is just absolutely awesome. And I can't thank you viewers enough for making it possible. Um, I can't say it enough. You know, you guys are the reason I'm here, and uh, and I do this because I I really do enjoy it. You know, it's it's a lot of fun sitting here talking to you guys. So don't, you know, don't forget to leave comments, too. I always like, uh, you know, reading your comments. Um, helps me intera interact with you guys uh, a bit better, you know, a bit more. Oh, one thing I do highly recommend is, um, <laughs> like, the first... <clears throat> the first day I, I got the, Oc or not the Oculus, the, uh, the steering wheel, the G27, um, I, uh, you know, I was just going barefoot. You know, you're sitting at home in socks, or I think I was barefoot. So after about, I don't know, a half hour or 45 minutes or an hour or something like that, I really, oh gosh, I have my brights on. Um, I really, you know, it started, like, making my feet hurt. So... Um, you know, definitely put on some shoes to kind of protect your feet, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to stop up here and I'm going to get gas. Excuse me. I have gas. Um, <laughs> but definitely wear shoes because it's going to save your feet 
And, and you know, the only weird thing about wearing shoes when you're naked is you're wearing shoes when you're naked. Wait, what? No, I'm, I'm not... I'm not really naked because that would be more disturbing than amusing, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm terrible. All right. So how much time do we have to get there? We have two, uh, next rest stop in five hours. Time remaining two hours. All right. Well, we're going to be there. Bye then. Goodbye, gas station. Okay, that guy pulled into the gas station. All right. <clears throat> so we're almost here in Gailo. I think I've been here before. Have we been here before? I think we've been here before. Yes, because all the roads up ahead are all... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, which one is the... Oh. <laughs> I couldn't tell which one was the gas or the brake. Oh, come on, you guys. Hey, did that dude just back up? Oh, look, he's just hitting everybody. Go, white car. You. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, everybody's just nailing everybody here. I think they need to work on the AI here on these roundabouts. A little bit more. All right, come on, buddy. Go. Oh, you cut the roundabout way too short. We cut it a little. Uh, that's kind of tough, though. Let's see here. Oh, I got my my key here on my controller for my map, so I can just beep, beep, beep. Let's go ahead and take this turn. All right. Oh, I. It just it just makes cornering just silky smooth. It is it is. I can't say enough of how awesome you know have <clears throat> having a proper steering wheel is. Kids, if you if you want a steering wheel, if you really enjoy this game and you got a birthday coming up. I know Christmas is pretty far away, but you could always be like, Mom, come on, Mom, or, or Dad, or heck, you know, go out and mow the lawn a few times if you've got a lawn, or, you know, ask what chores you can do around the house, and if you're a grown adult, ask your wife, or <laughs> ask your mom if you're still living in the basement, I don't know, <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Um, I think BH Photo has, um, they had some special pricing, um, I think I got mine for two nineteen ninety nine. it was on sale, um, and they, it seems like they, they they hit that price every few months, um, and I decided to take a jump and, and get it, oh, look, we didn't really get that much experience, <laughs> but, um, but anyway, you know, oh, it's definitely awesome, I, I highly recommend it. Freight market, let's see where we are going to go next time. Ooh, look at that. Budapest. Oh my gosh, look at that drive. That will take forever. Um, oh, we could go to Kalmar, Sweden. Ooh, that would be cool. Um, do we have anything? What else do we have? Cambridge, Great Britain. Not been to Cambridge yet. I think I might end up going to Kalmar. That might be a cool journey down here because there's nothing else really down here. You don't drive past it or anything. So we'll plan on that for the uh, the next episode and we don't have far to go just to the other little place here well guys thanks so much for watching um, um, also be aware if you haven't already um, oh there's my new metallic paint jobs uh, paint scheme it's kind of like a circuit board um, do be aware whoops sorry about the beeping there guys I'll pull forward a little bit um, I am actually giving away a free copy of uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 Gold Edition. Um, it's going to be like a, a key through, I think it was through Humble Bundle. Um, but you should be able to use the key on, um, uh, on Steam to unlock it on Steam. Um, also, 
the metallic paint DLC is available and you could do really cool metallic paint jobs like this and others. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description. Um, if you look at my main page right now as of June 6th, um, 2014, uh, you will actually see on, on the main page there's uh, the video link directly to it. There's four things you have to do. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe the, um, the contest video. And uh, once we get up to 5,000 views, um, I'm going to pick a winner. And you will receive a, uh, a free copy of your Truck Simulator 2 Gold Edition. So definitely give that a try. Um, also in closing, I would like to say that today is the 70th anniversary of D-Day in Normandy, um, which uh, liberated uh, Europe from the, the Nazis uh, during World War II. And I would like to uh, give thanks to all of the, uh, the veterans of World War II who are still living and, uh, all, and obviously those who have passed on. Uh, those men and women uh, truly saved America. So thank you so much to them. Um, you know, I'm not going to say happy D-Day because, you know, there's nothing really happy about it. It's, it's sad that we as a world can't live in, uh, peacefully. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if the, you know, if, if we as a people had not made those sacrifices at that time, I think the world would be a much different place today. Um, and, and I don't think it would be uh, as good as it, you know, would be now. So, uh, so I just wanted to, uh, to take a moment to give thanks at the end of the episode. So that's it for now. As always, don't forget to like the videos, um, comment, please comment. I love hearing from you guys. Share and subscribe if you haven't already. I am Bradham73. We'll see you, I guess, in the next episode. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going to uh, put out some more Euro Truck Simulator episodes uh, soon, and especially now that I've got, got the uh, driving wheel um, I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.